To rename an existing column in the table, we would need to use an external package that doesn't come pre-installed. So let's fire composer and install doctrine slash dbal. Now, if you are using Windows, just type this part without sudo. The doctrine dbal library is used to determine the current state of the column and create the SQL queries needed to make the specified adjustments to the column. So we are going to create a new migration for renaming a content to body. But before doing that, make sure you don't have any migrations left. So I'll just run PHP Artisan Migrate. Great. And now to build this schema with the name of a table, we can use table instead of create like we used before. Now this time it's not going to use create function, it is going to use table function. Now here type the table name and we are ready to go. Now let's use rename column function and define old and the new name of a column. And for the rollback, we are going to use body to content and let's migrate. Great, now let's make sure that it actually renamed the column in the database. Great, as you can see it did. Now, what if we want to change a particular property of the column? Let's create a new migration for that. As you can see, all we had to do is to call a change function on the column with all the changes we want to do. So let's migrate this one as well.
and as you can see here the default value or title is nice title 